Yo, what's up guys? My name is Justin. Welcome back to Justin Gamble Gamble. We are in Oregon, but unfortunately, it's our last day here. We want somewhere way different. Good luck. I've been getting dirty money, Jordan Belfort. Out of the 24 hours a day in Oregon, I would say it rains about 20 hours of those 24. <laughs> Time to get back to civilization and make another sports car vlog. <laughs> I'm back home in the suburbs of Chicago at my parents' house. Things are about to get really hectic, so we're doing a little pit stop here. It is so cold. I don't know why I'm recording this clip right now in a t-shirt. It is literally like negative 20 degrees outside. All the schools in the Chicagoland area have been closed because it's too fucking cold. Yeah, I need to go inside. <laughs> Time to step in to the laboratory. <laughs> Welcome to my childhood bedroom, fellas. How are you, baby? <laughs> <laughs> Good girl, whiskey. If you guys enjoy these videos, please drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe. We are so close to hitting 10K subs. I know I sound like a broken record, but it's gonna feel fucking epic when we hit it. And I put a lot of time and effort into editing today's video. You'll very quickly see what I'm talking about. If you guys enjoy it, please hit that thumbs up button and drop a comment, sub. All right, let's get into it. Hello, girl. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <sighs> <laughs> the reason why I have a bunk bed, I really don't have an answer for you. I don't share this room with anyone. I just, when I was younger, I thought it'd be interesting. The Dallas Card Show this upcoming weekend. There is the Atlantic Culture Collision after that. I think there's a show in Philly after that. And then we have to go to Vegas and then there's Burbank and then there's just a ton of shit going on. So I wanted to take a second to take a breath, a breather and just hang out. I feel like a lot of people that watch these videos are very curious. Like how do I actually make money buying cards? A lot of it isn't from actually going to shows. A lot of the cards I buy are bought online via Instagram, Discord, sometimes Facebook. Today I'm going to make a video explaining how how I do it. How do I make money buying and selling cards without ever leaving my parents' house? <laughs> Today's goal is to try to make 500 bucks. First off, I have this big ass spreadsheet. Who I bought the cards from, what type of card it is, how much I paid, the comps, the value, what I sold it for. I always have two tabs open on my computer, one being the spreadsheet and one being card ladder. So I don't only rely on people reacting to my stories. I follow a ton of card people that also flip cards. And a lot of times their stories look like this where it's just a bunch of things for sale. And I'll reach out to them if I like anything. I think we have some DMs to reply to. My friend Nate just reached out to me with a bunch of cards. Uh, now that's nasty. Justin Fields, PSA 10, but let me comp it. So usually how it goes, people send me photos of their cards, they send what they need on it, and I'm gonna go on my computer right now and comp the card and see if it's possible. Justin Fields, downtown, PSA 10. So we have one for 715, 799, 799. Okay. I'll write the card down. So last comp is 715, 799, 715, 799, and then 885. That's for a 10. It's very important to look at the other variations as well. So a nine has been selling for 565. That's kind of crazy. PSA nine sold for so that that's something to consider yeah the 10 is 700 but the 9 is kind of selling for a lot so it's interesting 750 times 0.8 to make it 80 percent a flat easy 80 percent on it like usual just move on all right we got another dm see what we got here have this Ooh, that's nasty garrett wilson tie-dye all right see what else we can do here all right this guy just sent some photos leonard Fournette genesis that's all right any autos? No. I was asking for that. how much for the Genesis. Oh, he just sent all the photos. Never mind. Sent the whole price list. Leonard Fournette Genesis, PSA 10, 50 bucks. Let's look that up. Oh, I can't even do it. I thought it was a good deal. This shit's only $30. How's a PSA 10 only $30? Oh, because the raw is only five bucks. Yeah, no thanks. Look at this. 
thought that card was worth so much more. It is $5, bro. While we wait for people to reply, I'm gonna go and work out. Three scoops, everyone knows the rules. No, I'm kidding. Cheers, fellas. <laughs> we have a little home gym set up in the basement. You like the photos of me as a young child, as a model? <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, the guy says 700. I can't do fucking 700. What can we do? It's so close. Let's try 685 and finish it at that. <laughs> Dude, doing a deal and doing shoulders is hilarious. I got a interesting deal sent to me. T Higgins, one of two flawless Nike swoosh. It's both number one of two and two of two. And they're both rookies. He's only asking 400 for the pair. OBO. There's no auto on it, but there's no comps on this thing at all. There's only like Nike swooshes from like 2022 that are one of ones for like 550. But I feel like I get the pair for like 300 bucks i could sell the pair for kind of a lot to like a Bengals collector what do you think of this t higgins you're asking the wrong person i'm saying do they look cool Oosh. oh i see there's no I'm auto or 400 offer him like three that's all that's what i said i'm offering 300 bucks here he says 300 bucks let's see what he says just got sent some more cards here this shaden sharp signature psa 10 comps are going for 142 179 let's see what 140 times 75% is 105, 105 for the auto. We shall see. All right, we got it done. Shade and Sharp, Shade and Sharp auto. And at the end, he's like, yo, you want to throw this on top? I was like, yeah, sure. 125, done. 125 sent to my boy Johnny. Boys, we did it. We got the Justin Fields downtown. He threw in a Tyrese Maxi base prism PSA 10 and those two serial cards for 705, done. There we go, 705. Shout out to my boy Nate. I'm about to send $700 while doing a fucking plank. <laughs> yes, sir. I got the T Higgins. You got the who? Those Nike swoosh cards. Oh, for three... 30. 330. Okay. Hello, whiskey. Three, two, one. Yes, sir. <laughs> All in a day's work. Let's see how much we spent and how many cards we've picked up. $6,362 of total value in cards. I always buy cards that gives us at least a 10% margin. So you can average to 15%, but let's just do that on the safe side and just say it's 10%. 6,362 times 0.1%. That's a hypothetical profit of $636 today. These cards will not be at my house in time before I go to Dallas. So probably not gonna be able to realize this profit until probably gonna come in around midweek next week around like Wednesday. And I can either hop on a phone call with some of my buyers on Wednesday when they all arrive, or I bring them all to the Atlanta Culture Closing Show and I sell them there. Tomorrow, I'm gonna repeat this whole process and probably spend a similar amount. It keeps adding up, adding up and adding up. And if you can make 600 bucks a day, 500 bucks a day, 500 times 30, that's $15,000 a month in pure profit. So that's kind of nice. In hypothetical profit, I'm sorry, whatever. I was thinking about this. I said I was probably gonna do like one video a week, but I've been having a lot of fun making them. So what if we bump that up? What if we bump it up to three videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday? Let's give it a go. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you guys have friends like sports cards, please share them Justin Gamble Gamble. But until then guys, I'll see you guys on Monday. Peace.